So I participated in the WWE Thunderdome this past week for the first time ever, and this is my story. Thank you for tuning in and listening to my WWE Thunderdome experience. As always, I'm your host, Encyclopedia Sports, Cool Hand Luke at 96. Be sure to like, follow, and subscribe on social media. Links in the description below. Hit that thumbs up button. Share hashtag WWE, hashtag Thunderdome. Chat questions and comments. Super chats, super stickers, always greatly appreciated as well. Participated in both Monday Night Raw and Friday Night SmackDown Thunderdome this past week, mid-March 2021. Signed up uh, for Raw, I'd say, a few days before uh, the show. Uh, Same along with SmackDown that just concluded as I am now recording this. Of course, now after both Raw and SmackDown have ended this week. As uh, Fastlane is about a a week and a half or so away as we're on the road to WrestleMania. That will be back in business about a month or so from now. April the 10th and 11th, respectively, down in Tampa at Raymond James Stadium. Where, honestly, to begin with the WWE Thunderdome, that's, of course, now been in existence since SummerSlam 2020. Well, first off, you go to WWEThunderdome.com. It'll bring up the uh, link for either a Raw or a SmackDown. As mentioned, I signed up for both about a few days prior. Uh, But you go to the uh, link... Uh, you got to put in your name first and last along with an email. Uh, you click next, uh, and then after all that, it'll say basically you're good to go. They'll send you a confirmation email then uh, at that point uh, saying, hey, basically these are all the roles, which we'll get into here uh, in a second. Uh, but uh, keep an eye out for a, another email the day of the event that you signed up for, whether it be Monday Night Raw or Friday Night Smackdown for myself this past week, March the 8th and March the 12th, respectively, here in the new year, uh, and then uh, that email is basically just an invite with you know more rules and regulations with your official call time, uh, but once you get into the WWE Thunderdome, there's uh, going to be uh, music playing uh, with the Thunderdome uh, logo floating like a... Uh, desktop screen uh, you know on your computer I'd recommend using uh, a laptop computer if possible compared to uh, a phone by any means one honestly just because you know it's easier and then two you know it looks better Uh, and you're probably gonna have a better shot of you know getting on TV unfortunately um, I didn't notice myself uh, on television on USA or Fox this past week for either Raw or SmackDown inside the Thunderdome, uh, which, okay, it is what it is. I've been on TV before, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, But it was a, you know, neat experience, I guess, to an extent. I'm going to get more into all my thoughts and opinions with my uh, Thunderdome experience from this past week here in a second. But, um, yeah, it starts off with some music before it all starts. Uh, The Thunderdome logo is just, you know, floating around. Your picture... Uh, from your camera, whether it's from your laptop or phone, it's going to be down in the bottom left-hand corner um, until uh, they come on with an announcement about a half hour or so before, just depends. The Raw, it was about 7.30 before main event. SmackDown, it was about quarter till because there was no show filmed prior to SmackDown. Um... But then at that point, it'll say, you made it, stay tuned, and then that's when we get our first reminders. It was microphone for myself. Now, I know tons of people have uh, participated in the Thunderdome. I don't know if it, you know, of course, was somebody else uh, for you um, or not. I'd assume this is just the one automated message that they've been playing on a loop uh, the past how many months now it's been since they've uh, began the Thunderdome since last August as mentioned, but um, reminders from Mike Rohm, uh, and then a few minutes before they go on the air live, whether they're filming or they're actually going to be live for Raw or SmackDown, another guy or a girl, because I had both this past week, a guy for Raw and then a girl tonight for SmackDown with more info, Uh, but then it was the same guy throughout the entire show, so prior to the shows actually going live, a guy for Raw, a girl for SmackDown. Uh, The girl actually gave out uh, some more uh, pointers 
uh, on basically how to get front row. Um, and the guy was like, basically, you know, just don't do anything stupid. But um, that same guy was, we'll call him Chuck, and we'll call the girl Clarice for the hell of it. Um, that guy was the, the same guy throughout the entire show. The girl was just for um, a little bit prior to tonight. And as mentioned, the guy was like, basically, just don't do anything stupid to get yourself kicked off. Uh, I actually got kicked off uh, after a, a short time earlier this evening, uh, a little lesser than uh, Raw, which we'll get more into. But, um, hey, it is what it is. And I, I get there, you know, doing what they can. And it was sort of a neat experience. Uh, but overall, in the end, I mean, really wasn't anything special in my eyes. In my opinion, everybody has their own opinion, though. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of the Thunderdome experience, if you've done it yourself. But, um, yeah, we had reminders from Micro and basically um, a guy, a girl, Chuck and Clarice. Um, and that same guy was the same guy throughout the entire show. Cheer for this person, boo this person, you know, blah, 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 blah. But... Just don't do anything stupid. No smoking, no vaping, no nudity, no bad signage. You can have signage. It's just got to be promoting, you know, something good for a superstar, for a wrestler. You know, whether it be the current main champions and Bobby Lashley or Roman Reigns. Uh, you know, Edge, Daniel Bryan, Kevin Owens. Um, I mean, McIntyre, Sheamus. This goes on and on, just name a few. Uh, but... Um, Make sure you have good lighting. They want you to have good lighting because the better lighting you have, the better shot you're going to have to uh, get in a good spot in the Thunderdome to potentially get on TV. Uh, but um, with the good lighting, just make sure you stay within the outline in your picture down in the uh, bottom left-hand corner, along with having whatever device uh, you're using for being in the Thunderdome. I'd recommend a computer, as mentioned, on a flat surface. Uh, so a table, a desk, something flat. Uh, so in the end, you know, for the beginning, as we'll move on here with just uh, a few things that happened um, as, you know, the shows began along with uh, commercial breaks and then overall um, ending with thoughts and opinions here uh, with my Thunderdome experience. You know, it was average at best, nothing special, as mentioned. But um, Raw this past Monday night, as mentioned, uh, about a half hour or so before um, they came on, hey, main event's about to begin, and we're going to have two main event matches. They give you countdowns uh, from 10 to 1, sort of as if you're coming out in the Royal Rumble, but a 3 2 1 uh, main event opening video package then. And you're supposed to be watching this on your screen, on whatever you're using, whether it's your uh, phone or laptop. You're supposed to also have it on. They recommend um, having it on your TV so you can watch both on a seven-second delay. Um, but you're supposed to look at you know whatever device you're using. Look into that uh, rather than look up in a way. Or if you're you know basically looking at your phone the whole entire time if you're, you know, using a laptop, they're going to see that you're not paying any attention, um, and then they'll probably kick you out. Um, you know, as I mentioned, I got kicked out twice, uh, once for Raw, once for SmackDown. I was on Raw for about uh, two hours or so, including main event, so only about a half of Raw, actually, of a three-hour show, which isn't that bad, uh, but then only about a half hour or so tonight earlier for SmackDown. Uh, so they count you in three, two, one, um, basically as if, you know, you're going to be live on TV, say, as if you're a, uh, commentator, you're announcing Raw or SmackDown, you know, alongside Phillips or Cole. Um, so the video package and the countdown will continue before, hey, let's hear it for whoever the hell's coming out, um cheers, booze, it was Lucha House Party, um, along with Retribution, as we had two tag team matches for main event this past week, main event actually got a new play-by-play uh, -play man as well alongside Byron Saxon, it's Kevin Patrick, um, so they do that match, 
uh, and then they record the cut in for the USA Network what you would see about 10 minutes prior to Raw uh, kicking off live at the top of the hour Monday nights at 8 o'clock uh, whether you know Chicago PD NCIS Law and Order's on prior that cut in about 10 minutes before they film that after the first main event match uh, actually about 20 or so minutes before they actually aired it uh, that was one of the first things they did uh, other than the match of course uh, so they uh, recorded we recorded I should say as I was a part of it uh, the cut in for the USA Network uh, and then they actually had the uh, second main event match uh, and then the cut in aired um, after all that as main event of course whether it's a half hour or an hour show anymore I honestly don't know I haven't watched that in probably a good five years um, of course that's on the network network moved to Peacock less than a week away now uh, but the cut in was Hey, Braun Strowman, he wants an answer from Shane McMahon. Uh, sort of got that on Raw. Of course, they're uh, what well, looks to be as facing off uh, at WrestleMania a month from now. Uh, and then also Bobby Lashley in The Miz. Uh, they were going to have a WWE Championship rematch uh, tonight on Raw as well. So those were the two cut-ins that they filmed. Uh, and then, of course, uh, back to main event. Uh, with a uh, fast lane promo and then uh, the next tag team match of course uh, as we're on the road to Wrestlemania but the other tag team match uh, here real quick uh, it was Mansoor along with Ricochet taking on Akira Tozawa and Drew Gulak and then as mentioned you know they want to hear the big boos they want to hear the big cheers um, they tell you who to cheer and boo for uh, but you know and my opinion you know I'm gonna do the opposite because I'm gonna cheer and boo for whoever the hell I want to you know cheer and boo for you know so nine times out of ten for the time that I was on in Thunderdome this past week of course you know I did the opposite um, but by that point main event was over Raw was next um, they count you down you know once more um, but compared to Raw and SmackDown as mentioned um, Raw had a main event uh, show before that they filmed SmackDown doesn't have anything uh, no main event, no superstars, no 205 Live um, so that just earlier tonight kicked off you know just a few minutes before they went live at 8 o'clock on Fox uh, but basically at that point then you get more reminders um, that includes you know everything you uh, would have, could have, should have read uh, in those emails that they uh, sent you when you signed up, uh, and then also the day of um, with your invite. My two call times for Raw it was 10:30, and then SmackDown tonight it was 9:30. But they uh, tell you, hey, it's first come first serve. So in that regard, I got on early. I was on at the beginning of each show, and then got kicked out after about two hours or so on Raw and then about only a half hour or so tonight on SmackDown. Uh, so email wise, of course, you sign up, they send you confirmation, keep an eye out for an invite the day of. Here's what the invite says basically. Here's your invitation to join, uh, whether it be Raw or SmackDown, see tonight at Raw or SmackDown, access the link below at your call time and then I'll have your call time listed right below that of course 10 30 and 9 30 on uh the respective date uh and it's all virtual of course you know it's not the real thing but you know it's better than nothing i guess but you got to click the link to join at your call time but you can click that link at any point in time um and then once you do that it'll you know um basically get you set up uh with your mic uh, and your camera um and click here to enter if there's seats available sometimes it'll say the Thunderdome's full so you just gotta wait you just gotta keep uh, refreshing uh, but virtual seat link click this link to join your call time this link is personal to you do not share your link um, now I don't know personally if if you could share it if somebody else could you know use it by any means or not I don't know um, but if you do know or 
having more details that I'm uh, leaving out uh, from my experience, let me know in the comments below. Uh, but now guidelines, all registered fans are further selected on a first come first serve basis as mentioned. Please make sure that you are camera ready. Remember you will be appearing on a live show. The audience will be refreshed throughout the night and you may not be included in the entire show. Of course, I wasn't two hours uh, for main event and Raw and then 30 minutes or so for SmackDown earlier. We reserve the right to remove you uh, from the show at any point in time for any reason, including uh, for any inappropriate conduct or technical issues. Um, I don't think I had any tech issues uh, by any means, nor did I have or do any inappropriate conduct by any means either. Uh, just sitting there, you know, cheering, booing, doing what they, you know, tell you to do. But as mentioned, I, I get there's, you know, how many seats available in this Thunderdome, and they're going to um, wave through it, you know, like it's nothing. And put this person here, put this person there, and, you know, be done with it. They don't care. Uh, they, they just want to make it look good, of course. Um, but uh, upon receiving the virtual seat link, Follow all instructions provided upon entry, including, yeah, you got to allow access uh, to your microphone and camera so that they can see and hear you. Uh, make sure you have the sound on so you can hear the moderator's instructions throughout the show. And, of course, myself, I had that thing blasted right off the bat. And, actually, I didn't even have it turned up that loud. Um, but the, uh, the opening for Raw... Uh, when they came on with an announcement, man, was that loud. Um, I, I wasn't expecting that by any means. That's like, you know, you get in the car when it's been shut off and uh, you turn it on, the radio is just blasting. It was, it was, it was one of those. Um, but yeah, you got to also watch the show and the diagram provided uh, from your midsection up. They said, uh, you know, shoulder and head, uh, leaving a little room above your head. Uh, and then make sure you have good lighting and keep your uh, device stationary, as mentioned, on something flat. Only one fan permitted per seat. We all know we've seen, you know, numerous people uh, sitting in um, one uh, shot in the past, uh, along with, um, you know, some fake people or dead people or, you know, people who aren't even in the WWE by any means. So, um and that gets into the attire. Your attire must be appropriate and must remain on at all times. The girl was like, don't get naked. Uh, obviously, whether she wanted to see it or not, she said it. Um, so, yeah, no nudity. Uh, so, official licensed WWE clothing uh, is preferred if available. Of course, must remain on at all times. No signs or objects should be covering your face. Uh, we reserve the right to terminate your participation at any sole uh, time in your entire, if you're attire, excuse me, uh, or any signs uh, or objects in screen contain uh, any immoral graphics, images, or text, any political statements, so no uh, Trump or Biden 2020, 2024, but... Um, you know, political statements, slogans, logos, graphics, or uh, other commercial of third parties other than the WWE, its athletes or sponsors. Uh, close any additional apps on the device being used to view the show and avoid streaming video on other devices to increase uh, bandwidth. So, of course, with how Wi-Fi works, they tell you to, hey, this is the only thing we want up, but... You know you can have as much shit running at once if you want to. But just have fun. Cheer on your favorite WWE superstars throughout the show. Of course, please don't reply to it. It's one of those. But here we go then. We're live, live, live. Then now WWE Forever. There is the seven-second delay. Um, I don't think personally I've ever watched uh, or participated in something and watched at the same time uh, actually live with a seven second delay uh, or not, I, I can't recall but during the intros we're told um, hey, boo this person, cheer this person 
uh, boo some wrestlers such as The Miz and Sheamus or for whoever they want as a heel. And then they, they um, also say lots of energy a lot uh, along with, um, hey, let's see the reaction or let's cheer for uh, such as, we'll say, Bobby Lashley, Edge, or Daniel Bryan or basically whoever they want as a face. But knowing me, as mentioned, of course, you know, I do the opposite because I'm going to cheer and boo for whoever I want to. Commercial break, we had about um, three or four of those on Raw, at least, uh, in the first half hour. Two or three, yeah, tonight on SmackDown as well. But then I got kicked out after half hour, so I don't know what happened in Thunderdome, of course, uh, after that. But I did continue to finish watching Raw and SmackDown, of course, on TV. But when they go to a commercial break, the commercials you see in Thunderdome uh, would be the commercials you would see, say, as such, if you were at a WWE event with, hey, this is the new documentary on the network. This is on demand. This is what's coming up on Raw or SmackDown, you know, next week and such. You know, just as uh, a few examples there. Uh, But they tell you how long commercial breaks are. But, of course, if you've been watching TV, like, you know how long commercial breaks are. Only a few minutes. So, commercial breaks for them, two and a half or three minutes. Um, And then, once they get to the 30-second mark to get back uh, to being live, they say 30 seconds, like, hey, let's get back in those seats. Uh, Please sit down. Please, you know, make sure, hey... Um, you know, everything's, you know, good to go still, like you're not doing anything stupid, just, you know, keep it cool, and hey, we're all gonna, uh, move along here, and we're gonna get through the show, and, um, cheer, boo for whoever you want, regardless if, you know, we're telling you to cheer or boo for this person, and, you know, go from there, so, in the end, you know, I get it's virtual, you're not actually live, you know, at the actual event, um, and, you know, they're doing what they can, and have been doing what they've, uh, been doing, of course, since August, but it's, it's not the real thing, it's not, um, you know, it's not sitting wherever you, you know, would normally sit at, um, and, you know, you're actually feeling the, the pyro, you're actually feeling the entrance music, you're actually, you know, um, feeling, uh, the, the, the punches, the kicks, the, um, all the moves, um, just all the normal interaction, um, that, you know, you would get if you've, you know, ever been to an event before, um, and that was, you know, a few miles long, so, um, you know, sort of, with it not being the real thing, sort of like, you know, called my friend, and, of course, he still lives in his parents' basement, and, you know, he's got a blow-up doll, so it's not the real thing. Um, but overall, you know, sort of a neat experience, but I'm not going to be doing it um, in the future by any means. Hopefully we can get back to normal um, here eventually. It seems that way, but who honestly knows? It's been a year now since uh, the world shut down. Uh, but in my opinion, with all that, Dota B is going to be in for a uh, very rude awakening uh, once they do get back to actually hosting live events uh, in the future, uh, but they're not going to care. You know, they're going to do what they want because they can do what they want um, because they know we're all going to, you know, still tune in and watch regardless. So they'll keep shoving shit down our throats, you know, like they always do, because WrestleMania, as mentioned, is going to be back in business uh, about a month or so from now, April the 10th and 11th. As, of course, we're on the road to WrestleMania with Fastlane, the final pay-per-view. Uh, on the road to WrestleMania, about a week and a half or so away. Uh, I'll have live reactions put up play. Uh, of that pay-per-view event, live right here on YouTube. Live reactions put up play uh, of culture ball, the NFL, and pro wrestling uh, with AW and the WWE. Always live right here on YouTube. So, as mentioned, be sure to like, follow, and subscribe on social media. Links in the description below. Also, have live reactions to play of WrestleMania 37 for the show of shows, the showcase of the Immortals. Uh, but um, in the end, for the Thunderdome, 
uh, as I got kicked out after two hours or so on Raw after the Drew McIntyre Sheamus matchup uh, and then the uh, Paul Heyman Jey Uso backstage segment uh, earlier tonight on SmackDown before the contract signing uh, with Reigns and Daniel Bryan to end the night with now a match with Edge and Jey Uso next week on Friday Night SmackDown. The winner will be a special enforcer at Fastlane in the Universal Championship match with Reigns and Bryan. Uh, so yeah, I got kicked out. Not that big of a deal, honestly. Uh, because in the end, in my opinion, everybody has their own opinion, the WWE Thunderdome, nothing really special in my eyes. But let me know in the comments below uh, your thoughts on your WWE Thunderdome experience uh, if you've uh, participated. But really, if you haven't, well, you're not really missing much.